Hello? Okay. God bless you, Pakistan. God bless you, Pakistan. How are you today? What time is it there now? It's uh, six and a half ten minutes uh, evening time. Six and a half minutes? Yes. Six is it six thirty? Uh, it's uh, six fifteen. Okay. Six fifteen. I got gotcha. you. Well, God bless you in the name of Jesus Christ. I'm going to I'm going to do this very slow, okay? So you can translate. Okay. Okay. My name is Reverend Pete Silva. This is the present truth ministry. Okay, so today what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, ask you to move away from the mic so you could hear me, but I don't hear you translate to them, okay? Yes. So, today what I'm going to do is I'm going to teach on fellowship. Fellowship is what God wants uh, brother, people to have. Uh, first of all, if you pray at the beginning of the meeting, then we worship and then it's the time of the Word of God. Yes, we're going to pray in a minute. I just want to tell you what I'm doing. Uh, okay. Okay. So, just to let you know, um, I'm going to do a little teaching today for you from New York City, New York, the Bronx. Okay. I ask you to pray with me to God. Heavenly Father, I am Dua Mange as Manibab. Thank you for giving us the privilege to be together today with Pakistan. I thank you, Father, for their lives. I thank you for their health and for their strength. I thank you, Father, that you chose them and us to be together today in your name I thank you for the growth in Pakistan that your hand father of protection is over them always so Father, it is at this time that we thank you from the bottom of our hearts in the name of your Son, Jesus Christ. Amen. Let us do uh, worship 
We are going to sing some Christian song. Run, run, run. Okay.
Okay, so am I clear? Do you understand my words? Yes. Okay. Well, today, yes. today we are thankful to God for giving us the time to fellowship with God's people in Pakistan. Today we will share on the word fellowship. Take your Bibles if you have and go to the book of First John in the back of the Bible. First John chapter one. Do you have Bibles, yes? Yes. Okay, good. So in First John chapter one verse three it reads that which we have seen and heard declare we unto you that ye also may have fellowship with us. Truly and truly our fellowship is with the Father and with His Son Jesus Christ. Uh, let me read brother from my Bible. First John. That's in the Old Testament, brother. Uh, in the New Testament, at the back of the Bible, yeah. First John. First, yeah. you'll see First John, chapter one. That's, that's near to the uh, verse three. Act near to the book of the Act. Yes, that's uh, John, and then Act. Then the Romans. Keep going back. Yep. Yes, I'm going. Yes, I found it. 
You found it? Yes. First John. First John chapter one. Chapter one, verse three. जो कुछ हमने देखा और तुम्हें भी उसकी खबर देते हैं ताकि तुम भी शरीक हो ताकत बाप के साथ और उसके बेटे तुम सी के साथ बात है अमीन it's it's a declaration um, telling us that we as children of God now can have fellowship with God and his son Jesus Christ together you me and him and his son hum sabhi jab ikatthe hote hain sabhi behan bhai baithte hain ek shrakat karte hain तब हमारा ये ख्याल भी होता है कि हम सभी इकट्ठे हुए हैं तो खुदा सी भी हमारे साथ है वो भी आज हमारे साथ हमारे दरमियान मौजूद है Now take take your Bible and go to 1 Corinthians chapter 1 1 Corinthians Yes I'm in the first Corinthians. Yeah, first Corinthians chapter chapter one, v- verse nine. Okay. It says. Ki nomi ayat. Yes. It says God is faithful, by whom ye were called, you were called, unto the fellowship of His Son Jesus Christ our Lord. God is faithful. God doesn't go back on his word. His word is salted. When he says something, he means what he says. And he's called us to fellowship with Jesus Christ, our older brother, seated at the right hand of God. Khuda sachcha hai. Khuda sachcha hai jisne tumhe apne hamare khudaan Yesu Masih ki shraat ke liye bulaya hai. वो है वो सच की बात कहता है वो जो भी कहता है करके दिखाता है यानी कि बाइबल हकी है जिसने तुम्हें अपने बेटे खुदाम यीशु मसीह की शराकत के लिए बुलाया है नाउ लेट्स गो टू द गॉस्पेल ऑफ जॉन द गॉस्पेल ऑफ जॉन It's Matthew, Mark, Luke, John. The book of John. Yes, I know. Chapter 14. Yes, I know. It's called 14th verse. Yes, I'm there. Chapter 14, verse 23. And it reads like this. It says, Jesus answered and said unto him to the person that he was talking to if a man love me he will keep my words and my father will love him and will come unto him and make an abode with him or make a place of living with him with the man god lives in our minds when we believe so jesus christ said that if some a, a man loves jesus then they will truly be taken care of by god his father our father today yesu si isme aise mukhat hain yohanna ki anjeel uska 14va bab 23vi ayat yesu ne jawab mein usse agar koi mujhse mohabbat rakhe to wo kalam par amal kare और मेरा बाप मोहब्बत रखेगा और उसके पास आएंगे और उसके साथ सुनत करेंगे आमीन यानी खुदाम यसुम सी यहाँ पर कहते हैं कि हम उसके कलाम को वो सुने 
करेंगे हम उसको अपने जहन में लेकर आएंगे जब कलाम हमारे जहन में आएगा हम उसको अपने लेकर आएंगे तो वो हमसे मोहब्बत रखेगा वो हमारे बैठेगा और रफाकत करेगा In in this verse, the word at the bottom that says our abode, it says our abode with him. Abode, this word means home or mansion or permanent place, somewhere where you're going to be all the time permanent. This is what the, uh, Jesus Christ was telling the man. This is what I tell my people, and I tell you. That God will abode with us; He will live together in a home in our minds. When the day comes, He's going to call us. When when we all get to heaven, we will be in this mansion with God. Shakat aur rafaat ki ek chal hai, jisse hum ghar kah lete hain jab Ram Yasun si baste hain, wo kuch हर हो जाता है जहाँ भी वो होता है वो चाहे आपका दिल है या ये जगह है हमारा ईमान है कि एक दिन आएगा कि आपके साथ यहाँ पर बैठूंगा और हम इकट्ठे रफाकत और शराकत करेंगे फेलोशिप इज समथिंग दैट्स वेरी इम्पोर्टेंट टू गॉड बिकॉज फेलोशिप मीन्स व्हेन यू get together with somebody else and you get together to do the same thing in this case we are together doing the same thing learning about god shirakat shirakat ka matlab the hona kuch logon ka mil baithna kaam yesu se dev kalat baatein karna aur uske sath ek meeting karna वो किसी के साथ भी हो सकती है कहीं भी हो सकती है इन द बुक ऑफ मैथ्यू चैप्टर 18 या शाम दे आर इन द चैप्टर 18 मैथ्यूस 18 मैथ्यूस 18 20 वर्स 20 इट सेज ओके फॉर वेयर टू और थ्री आर गैदर्ड टुगेदर इन माय नेम there i there am i in the midst of them in the middle of them so two or three people get together and jesus christ will always be in the middle because we are doing the same thing we are fellowshipping and he's in the middle of the fellowship matthew and angel uska 18 uski 20vi ayat mein khudaam ne yesu se yu हैं क्योंकि जहां दो या तीन मेरे पर इकट्ठे हों मैं वहां के बीच हूं तो आज जब आप इकट्ठे हैं तो वो आपके दरमियान मौजूद है साथ है आप जहां कहीं उसके नाम इकट्ठे होते हैं वो आपके दरमियान आ मौजूद होता है गो बैक टू द बुक ऑफ जॉन द गॉस्पल ऑफ जॉन चैप्टर फोर्टीन Yes I'm there. In verse 21 it reads like this. Yes. He that has co- oh, my that... commandment and keepeth them he it is that loveth me and he that loveth me shall be loved of my father and I will love him and will manifest myself to him. Manifest is to to okay, appear. That... जिसके पास मेरे हैं और वो उन पर अमल करता है वो ही मुझसे मोहब्बत रखता और मुझसे मोहब्बत रखता है वो मेरे बाप का प्यारा मोहब्बत रखूंगा और अपने आप को उस पर राहत दिस वर्ड हियर एट दी एंड ऑफ द वर्ड वेर इट सेज एंड विल मैनिफेस्ट माई सेल्फ टू हिम मैनिफेस्ट मीन्स to come to you he will come to you when 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 you believe he will show you the way and you will know that it is jesus christ 
that's sharing with you in your mind, teaching you to do the right thing. जब उसे आप कबूल करें, तो वो आपके पास आएगा जब आप उस पत्र रखेंगे, वो जाहर होगा। इस आयत के आखर में वो कहता है और अपने आप को उस पर जाहर कर, वो कुछ रास्तों के जरिया से अपने आप आपके ऊपर जाहर करेगा कि मैं खुदावन तुम्हारा The next chapter, John chapter 15, verse 4, yes, I'm there. Okay. verse 4 that reads, Abide in me, and I in you, as the branch cannot bear fruit of itself, except it abides in the vine. No more can you, ye, accept ye by me. You want to read that? Okay. To mujh me kaim raho aur ma tum me tarha dali agar angur ke drak me kaim na to apne aap se phal nahi la sakte. Usi tarah tum bhi agar mujh me kaim na raho nahi la sakte. Amin. Here, the word is telling us that a branch of a tree cannot bring forth fruit if it's not together with the tree. A, a, tr a branch yeah. of a tree, if it's away from the from the tree, it cannot bear fruit. यहाँ पर हमें पता लग रहा है कि अगर दरखत हो उसकी डाली है अगर वो उसके साथ जुड़ी है तो फल लाएगी अगर उसको काट कर फेंक दी तो वो कोई भी ग्रोथ नहीं करेगी कोई दे सकती और सूख जाएगी और वो जलाने लगेगी फिर इट इट आल्सो सेज दैट द सेम वे दैट द द द ब्रांच कैन नॉट बेयर एनी ट्री इफ इट्स इफ इट्स अवे फ्रॉम द वाइन यू एंड आई cannot bear any fruit to God or or bring somebody to the Word of God if we don't abide in the Word. We have to abide in the Word so that God can show us, okay, how we can bring others to the Word. हमें उसके कल एक जगह से दूसरी जगह उसकी डालियों को फैलाना और बहुत सारे फल उससे निकले हैं। In verse five, it reads, "I am the vine, ye are the branches. He that abideth in me, and I in him, the same bringeth forth much fruit. For without me," You or ye can do nothing. मैं अंगूर की द्रकत मैं अंगूर का द्रकत हूँ तुम डालियाँ हो जो मुझ में कायम रह मैं उसमें वही बहुत का है क्योंकि मुझ से जुदा होकर तुम नहीं कर सकते अमीन. So it is important for us to know. That we have to stay in fellowship with God and His Son Jesus Christ. If we don't, इसलिए बहुत जरूरी कि हमें खुदाम यीशु मसीह के साथ उसके बेटे उसके बाप के साथ रखनी है. If we don't, then we are nothing. Nothing. अगर ऐसा नहीं होगा तो हम नहीं कर सकते और ना ही हम कुछ होंगे. Now look at verse seven. Same chapter, verse seven. Okay. If ye हम अब साथ में आए आज लाख में भी अगर तुम मुझ में कायम रहो बातें तुम में कायम रहें तो तुम जो चाहो वो तुम्हारे लिए हो जाएगा अमीन. Okay, so in in English, it the verse reads, if ye abide in me and the words abide in you, okay, his words, Jesus Christ's words that he shared with us. 
abide in us, it's in us, then it says, ye can ask what ye will, and it shall be done unto you. Anything you, you ask for, God will make it happen if you believe. But you have to do it this way. difficulty because in Pakistan the electricity goes out all the time so we're trying to reconnect with Pakistan so that we can have or, or continue our fellowship with them um, so just bear with us um, we're going to try to connect with them and see what happens trying to connect. Well, we're going to give it a couple of more minutes. Um, if not, I will finish the teaching and um, we're definitely going to believe God to see how much of it we can put on the web for you guys and, and the people in Pakistan. They'll be able to see it on the website. Um, it's, it's a blessing to be able to know that there are other people um, that are actually looking to uh, know our God and our Lord Jesus Christ. I think they're, they're trying to connect. Let's see what we can do here. Think they're coming? There you go. Okay, we're back. Yes. yes. Yeah. Okay. I was just sharing with the. Um, the other people that um, you you were trying to connect with us, so we were trying to give you some time so that um, we would be able to get back with you. We understand that that you have you have troubles in Pakistan with the electricity, so we're going to do our very best to do this within the time frame that we have. Um, we still got 20 minutes um, or so, eight, 38 minutes that we can share the word with you. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to ask you to, um, uh, do you know how to, how to mute your, your, you know what, I'm going to mute you from here, meaning that you'll be able to hear me, but I will not hear you, okay? And um, that way I can continue teaching, I'm going to do it slowly, so if you can... You know, as I speak, you can speak too to your people and follow me. That way we'll do it quicker instead of me saying what I'm saying and then you having to, or me having to stop and then you translate. It just takes a lot I longer. Think, Is that okay? Yes. Yes. I think we have, we can stop because we have a low time. So uh, we will cover about this message from the... Uh, by this and then uh, after that we can do a meeting with campus 
Okay. So let's pray for this one. Okay, so I'm going to mute you. Uh -huh. I'm going to put you on mute. I won't hear you, but you will hear me, okay? Okay. Okay, and then you can just, as I speak, you can speak too, so that way it doesn't interrupt, all right? All right. Okay, let's pray. I'm a Okay, so we're back. So, like I was saying, in verse 7 of John, the Gospel of John, chapter 15, in verse 7, it says, If ye abide in me, in other words, if you're in me, and my words abide in you, and the words that God or Jesus Christ is sharing with us, they're in us, and we believe them, it says that, uh, ye shall ask what ye will, and it shall be done unto you. God will prop, God will do this because Jesus Christ paid the price with His life for you and for me, so that today we're able to do what we're doing now. Can you hear me? Nod your head. Nod your head if you can hear me. Hold on. Can you hear me? Huh? Yes. Okay, were, yes. You, hear, did you, were you able to hear me while I was speaking? Yes. Can you hear me? Yeah, I can hear you now, but I'm going to put you on mute. So that means I won't be able to hear what you're saying. So you could speak while I'm speaking too. So as I speak... I want you to... No, it's... So how can you hear us? I want you to... And uh, we will start this mass next week because we have a low time of the electricity. How much time do you have? I think... To the 15 minutes. 15 minutes. Do you want me to continue for 15 minutes? I want you to pray now. Okay. Father, do this. And we'll continue next week. Okay. What we'll do is you and I can call each other later. Okay? Yes. We'll okay. talk Let's later. Let's pray now. And we'll... No, no. Let's pray and then we will talk. Okay. And we'll do a meeting with our members of Okay. Our so, church members. Okay, so let me pray. Yes. yes. Uh, I'm going to pray, okay? I am the one. Okay, let's pray. All right. Father, thank you for this day. Thank you for the opportunity to share a little bit with your people in Pakistan. Thank you that um, you just give us more understanding of what we're doing with them and they're with us that we can be together in fellowship and you, Father. Thank you for the victory that we have and that you open the windows of heaven to the people in Pakistan so that they too can receive the desires of their heart. Thank you for this. In the name of Jesus Christ, amen. Yes, brother. Uh, I have the blessing of the Lord Jesus. Uh, I have a laptop that I am using. In Pakistan, the big problem of the load shedding that you know. I have internet by the uh, modem and uh, I have need of Evo that's a plan that provides internet to the laptop. Okay, listen and to me. Listen, 
It's 10 o'clock here in New York. What time is it there? Yes. 7 5. 7 5? Yes. 7 All right. So, what I want you to do, yes. I want you to finish with your people, and in one hour, one hour, call me back, and we could talk, okay? Uh, brother, it will be later. It's night time over here. Uh, it's uh, not same like the U.S. It's Pakistan. And it's uh, like a, you know, area, village type of area. So yeah. it's 7 o'clock, it's 7 o'clock there now. So, yes. Okay, so. PM, night time. Darkness is up there. So mostly the uh, young girls came in our church. It's okay, so but what I'm saying to you, listen, listen. What I'm asking you, you yourself, just you, let the people go home and let them do whatever okay. they want to do. You teach yes. Can you, you? You teach me. Yes. Can you call me back in one hour? Yes. Okay. Call me back one hour. Okay. okay. Here is my dad. You can see. Yes. Oh. Hello, brother. How Hello. are you? And our uh, church member. Hello. You can see her. She wants that you pray for her. Her husband has applied for that. And interview is on the Monday morning. She wants that you pray for her, that her husband got a job. Her husband's going where? That her husband got on Monday. Where is he going? I said, she wants that you pray for her husband. He have applied for a job. His interview is on Monday. She wants that you pray and he got job. Okay, so he, he applied for a job and you want us to pray together so that he can get the job on Monday? Yes. Okay, I got it. Yes. I got you. Um, well, let's pray right now, okay? I don't give up. Well, Father, thank you for this opportunity again to prove you, Father, that you, our Heavenly Father, will take care of all the needs of your people, I thank you right now for our brother in Pakistan who applied for this job that Monday he has this interview father and that your hand of protection is with him father and that you work in the heart of the person who interviews him and that he gets the job thank you father for you just making this available and thank you for the way you love us father and show us your mercy Thank you for this. In the name of Jesus Christ, amen. Amen. If you want, we can talk. Well, uh, I have somebody here that I have to finish with. If you call me in one hour, I'll, have, I'll be in the other room. In another room, I'll be able to to sit with you and just talk with you. Okay? Well, as you can see, um, Pakistan is a country that um, has a lot of situations and, and, and uh, but but the good news is that there is somebody there that believes God that believes in Jesus Christ our Lord and together we will be able to believe God to make things happen in Pakistan so that things can be what they are so that things can
come to pass the way they're supposed to come to pass. I think he's back. Yes. Okay. So I need you to call me back in an hour, okay? Can you hear now? Yeah, I can hear you, but I need you to call me back in an hour. One hour. I, I have something that I have to finish here now. It's 10 o'clock and I have different things to do. So I have to get... If you call me in an hour, we can talk. Okay? Okay. Okay, sign up. See you in the final. Alright, so again, like I said, um, these things are the way they work. Um, we're, we're going to find out uh, what the needs are that they have in Pakistan and, and we're going to see where their hearts are at. Um, I'm, I'm recording this, I'm going to put it on the, the, the internet or I'm going to put it in, in our web page so that um, they can hear what I'm saying more clearly once they're able to connect um, and hear the teaching. Um, important factors is that we the, as we ask God to give us, we have to be willing to give back to God. And the way we give back to God is that we fellowship, that we hear His Word, that we understand the principles of living in God's Word. Okay? Um, so, so we're going to continuously believe that we will be able to teach this to them and show them the way to victory. And if there's something we can do for them, we will. Um, and I'm going to hope and believe God that um, they will put their best foot forward and, you know, do what they have to do their part so that God, Jesus Christ, and the Word of God can live very powerfully in their lives, in their neighborhood, and that others will come to hear the, God's matchless Word. So I thank you for this, and um, again, I'd like to quickly pray and just thank God for putting everything in its proper place. Thank you, Father, for this. Thank you for my heart, God, the things in my heart that they do come to pass. Thank you for your love, your mercy. I thank you that as we continue to believe you, Father, we can see the signs, the miracles, and the wonders that you make available to your people. I thank you again for you had your protection over the people in Pakistan and everything coming to pass. I lift this up to you in the perfect name of our living Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. So um, we will be signing off and um, we'll put it on the air as soon as we can. Thank you. Have a good day.